Okay, now let's begin part six. Uh, in this part, I will explain the post pics, the anti-spam with the spam assassin and amabis. In chapter 15, the first fix antivirus with the clam AB. Okay, chapter 14, first fix anti-spam with the spam assassin and amabis. So here, I will show you how to configure first fix, amabis, spam assassin, and clam ab. So here, first fix is MTA, and the amabis, this is a kind of the scanner, and the spam assassin is an anti-spam program, and the clam ab is an antivirus program. So here, first, the, I will the configure the amabis D to accept mail from the MTA and pass it to claim AB and the spam assassin for checking. And if that return it back to MTA for delivery. And after that, the Amabis D will the use the NMTP listening on TCP port 1024 to accept mail from MTA and then pass it to claim AB. And uh, this one, the CLAM AB will use the local the scanned mail and the Unix socket, and uh, you will use the spam assessing using this one. And after that, this one, the MAVIS will be the, uh, the mail will be the return to MTA using TCP port 1025. It means now the post fix use the port number 25 as SMTP and Normally, the post fix is uh, using the SMT protocol, and this one, if the mail arrive, then this port, port number 25, will deliver this mail to port number 10024. And uh, this port will uh, transport to the Amabis daemon, and the Amabis daemon will send this email to claim AB antivirus program and spam as an daemon as your anti spam program. So if the claim AB and the spam assassin the received this kind of the mail, they will the scan or the check the spam the email. In case of the spam assassin, normally you use the razor or this is as a filtering program. And if they, if they the complete to scan or the check the anti spam the uh, spam the byte or, uh, spam the email then they will return this email to amabis daemon and amabis daemon will the transport all this email to this port number and the first big smtp server the will decide maybe if this uh, email belong to the spam or virus program then we'll send here and if there is no problem in the email like uh, virus or spam then the SMTP server will deliver the user's home directory. So in this video I will show you how to set up the SMTP as a post fix and Amabis and the clam AB and spam assassin. So first by I will focus on the spam assassin and the amabis. Okay, first one, introduction of the spam assassin and amabis. First one, amabis D. Uh, if you want to the, use this one, please the, uh, the, visit this website and download. Amabis D is a reliable, high-performance interface. So normally, Amabis is act between the email server like MTA, like Postfix, and content checkers like a virus scanner, like a claim AB or spam assassin like this. And normally, the Amabis D the support the SMTP, LMTP protocols, and the Unix socket as well. Normally, this socket can be used to communicate with the MTA and content checkers. And uh, Amabis D already uh, used the dedicated helper program such as the spam assassin permit like this. And uh, this one also support a number of MTAs like a send mail or XIM like this. Spam assassin, this one can be used for email spam filtering service based on content matching 
rules. And the normal spam sensing use the variety of the spam detection, the techniques, and the DNS based and the policy check some the spam detections and based on the filtering, the program and external programs, blacklist and online databases. So I think the spam is very strong to check the spam email. And this one can be integrated with the mail server to automatically filter all mail for site and the uh, spam assassin awarded the Linux New Media World in 2006 as the best Linux based anti spam solutions. Okay, number two, the package installation the, to install Amabis and the spam assassin, you need to install this one first, RPM Forge, and after that, Install, you may install Amabis new and spam assassin. And then and after that, checking using this command Amabis I mean, new and spam assassin. And after that, if we want to reach the, this service to, to each the level, then you just get config Amabis on, spam assassin on. And after that, you can check these services. Number three, configuration. First one, the spam assassin. If you the spam assassin normally use the main the config file this one local.cf it is a mail spam assassin here so at first time I think there is no specific configuration line or the specific the values so here if we open this file you can find here require hit five it means if some the email get this kind of hit the point then this one will be uh, marked as a spam and if you want to check the spam assassin the syntax then spam assassin lint b amabis new so amabis new normally use this word this main configuration file amabis d.conf in etc amabis d. so here Max servers too. It means the the process Amabis Amabis daemon use normally for the service, and the daemon user will be Amabis and the group as well. And Amabis B will use the port number one zero zero twenty four, and the domain. In my case, I'm using the chol.com and the host name of chol.com, but I will change this one to the ms one chol.com. And if we want to change the virus admin email address, you can. The change this one. In my case, I will the change to the TLAN, my domain, my domain mean the chol.com. And the others, the notify list, uh, list admin and the spam admin, if we want, you can change as well. And the uh, claim AB claim daemon, so the Amabis D will communicate with the claim AB. So claim AB daemon, normally TCP so, uh, the Unix socket will be created here. VAR learn claim AB claim socket. So the Amabis daemon must know exact the, the claim AB socket here. And after that, the post picks. First one, it is C post main dot CF. So here we will configure content filter will use amabis feed this is the name of the amabis and the local host and the port number here 10024 and of that master.cf we need this kind of the configuration so here we have to configure the eject the amabis service name here amabis feed unix and uh, here this number is uh, the process number of amabis d and uh, we'll use the RMTP and uh, these kind of things. And uh, this one here, one uh, local host and the port number 1025 will be SMTP daemon. So at first, uh, the SMTP daemon will transfer all email to this uh, port number and uh, this one will be transferred to the, this Amabis D. And after that, Amabis D will transfer to this email to the claim antivirus and the spam assassin okay and after that let's uh, start the service first one amabis d uh, start and after that post to fix start and after that spam assassin start and after that please check the process using this one amabis and the spam 
and uh, please check and please don't forget to check each the port number 1024 and 0025 and after that if you want to test please access this port number local host 1024 will be this one with amabis and this one will be the smtp Okay, chapter 15, first tip is the antivirus with the Clam AB. Clam antivirus is open source antivirus engine designed for detecting Trojan virus, malware, and other malicious threat. So if you use this Clam antivirus, the normally email server, uh, all the email on the email server will be scanned by Clam AB. And this one is a standard for mail gateway scanning service. And this one normally the support high performance multi-thread scanning daemon and the command line utilities for on-demand for file scanning and the intelligent tool for automatic the signature update as well. Later you will see the this kind of update. If you want to access them, please visit this one, clamab.net. So in this video, I will install this kind of packages for the clam antivirus. So clam TK, this is a front end, and the clam ABDB, this is a virus database from the clam antivirus, and the clam the daemon, and the clam AB antivirus software. And also, I will install clam FCNTP, this one, SMTP virus scanning system supported by Clam AV. And uh, this one also you need to the install RPM Forge and after that Clam AV DB DB like this. And after that at first open pressclam.conf here and the comment this line notify Clam. And after that open the Clam.conf. So here we will the uncomment this line local socket here this one is uh, the name of the clam the socket name so the clam and the virus will the use this socket to communicate with the, the other program like uh, amabis and uh, this one comment we will not use the tcp socket so this one must be commented like this and the username must be the clam ab and uh, number B, update the database. Normally, the CLAM antivirus need the database to, to scan all the viruses. So, first, please check this uh, directory. VLO, CLAM AB, and run CLAM. And the username must be like this. And uh, if we use this command, fresh clamp then this one will update all the pattern files of the clamp antivirus and uh, normally if the complete this uh, update then normally the clamp press clamp will the save their database pattern files eh, here and the c try to scan if we are successful to install the clamp ab then we can test using this command clam scan in fact remove because for example like a home directory for the testing please download this one elka elka.com this is a kind of the testing file to include some the virus so here clam scan then this one will detect this file and the clam SMTP also this one we need to install the RPM4 prior to this the clam SMTP installation. So install clam SMTP and uh, open this file etc clam SMTP.com. So here I found the address. This one will use 127 and the listen this one will be 126 and uh, claim the address here socket address. And the header will be like this, clam AB using clam SMTP. So now if you the check the header of each email, then you can find this kind of message. And the temp directory will use uh, BARTMP. And the action, maybe if the clam SMTP 
detected by the stand, this uh, email with the virus will be dropped. And user also must be changed to claim AB. And if that service is start, claim SMTP start and uh, process checking and the portal number checking and the register to the non-level and the start to claim D as well. And the post fix they needed to configure this one for the claim AB. So the ETC first fix main the CF. So here contact filter will be 1026. And we have to the register this service portal scanning service like this SMTP. And this one also outbound 1027. This one will listen to using the SMTP daemon. And after that the service of post fix restart. And the testing later we will use this one. The normally the Amavis testing, Amavis normally the support the test messages. So if you go to this directory, you can find some test messages. So to use this one, we have to extract first this file. Then here you can find many the file as a test. So first one virus testing or spam testing using this kind of file and uh, if you want to the testing uh, using the spam or session dialect then you can use like this this is a kind of the junk file and the spam c this is a kind of the client file supported by spam assassin so using the client file we can test this kind of file as well and the claim AB as well, the service claim SMTPD first stop, and of that claim SMTPD default. This one is a debugging mode, so here we can find some the claim AB the message, and after that we can test the virus testing and the username, and we can the use this kind of sample the virus text, and the may log will show some messages about messages about this one. Okay, then let's uh, test here in the server part. Okay, uh, first let's check the spam assassin Amabis. So here, okay, first RPM package checking. Okay, also and the Amabis as well. Amabis. Okay, before you install this one using Yum, first I already told you to check the RPM Forge. So if you don't have this one downloaded from the rpmfind.net, then you can install using this kind of uh, command Yum install, for example, Amabis D new like this. Okay, in my case, I already installed like this. Okay, and after that, uh, first, uh, config. CD. And uh, now I already using the uh, level 2345 and uh, spam assassin. So now also non-level 2345 using this one. Okay, at first uh, let's go to the spam assassin. So here let's open the local file. So here the line number seven require hit five. So if uh, some mail get uh, this kind of point, then this one will be marked as a spam mail. Okay, and after that, etc. Amabis. So the comp here. Okay, etc. Amabis. Amabis. The comp. So here, line number in my case, uh, max servers two. The mean, the mean, the Amabis demo will use the children process two, and the demon the group. And uh, my domain will be the church.com, home here, TMP, and, uh, and uh, port number, port numbers, okay, let's check the port number. 
And also here, my network address here, I will configure already. And this one, socket port number. So Amabis will use this port number. Okay, and after that, uh, so if we want to change the, this kind of email address for the virus admin, so in my case, I change like this. The TLM, my, my domain is just chol.com, like this. And, uh, and my host name, so in my case, I will change this one. MS1. Okay, and uh, let's go to the claim antivirus. Okay, yeah, line number the 380. So here, claim A, B, claim demon. So the this one, please check the claim the socket the pass. So here, the claim demon will create the socket here. Okay, then it's uh, complete. And after that, let's you go to the uh, first peaks. First main. So here, let's uh, go line number the 696. Content filter, I'm going to feed the port number 10024. And, uh, okay, and after that, the master. So here, let's check the service for the, okay, here, line number, in my case, the line number 53, I'm going to feed. So here, I configure the, the five line and the fifth uh, line number 59. So here for the SMTP demon, so we receive this one, the email from the 1024. So here I will create this guide of the options as well. Okay. And after that, service, I'm a, is the, in my case, restart. And the uh, service first fix restart as well. And uh, spam assassin. Okay, then let's check the process. Amabis. So now Amabis master demon and uh, using to the pro uh, the children process and uh, spam. So also this one using spam, this demon. Okay, then the, let's check the port number. Four and 25. Okay, then let's try to connect 24. So this we can see Amabesti new service red. And If you want to stop, just quit. Okay, so now I'm obviously demon will now the preparing for the well accepting the service and uh, 25. So this one, this is a first fix demon. Now the this one using the TLS as well. So quit. Okay, then let's go to the claim antivirus first. Let's check the package. Claim AB antivirus. So, and after that, claim. Claim SMTP as well. Claim demon, claim AB, claim AB the database. Claim jet, claim TK like this. Okay, then the let's you go to etc fresh. So here, normally this one, uh, please uh, remember the press claim will be will update the pattern files. So database here and the update logo file will be 
the fresh clan will save the log file here. And after that, uh, and uh, if the clam AB want to the update, the pattern files normally will access here. So if you want to change, so you can change the database server host name. Okay, notify here. Okay. So line number one hundred and two. So please the comment this line. Okay, and after that. Clam D dot com here. Okay, let's check the. So now the line number eighty local socket. The clam demon will save the socket here. Be a long clam A V clam the socket like this, and the. Please the comment the line number ninety six TCP socket here. Okay, and after that, uh, let's check the user line number 189. So, user, please change the claim AB. Okay, then it's a complete. And after that, please check BAR log. So, here must be the user claim AB. So, if we want change like this. Clam A B Clam A B B A R log Clam A B like this and the B A R long as well long Clam A B so and after that the fresh Clam the pattern file will be updated by the fresh Clam. So here, in my case, a button number and the signatures like this. So now I'll try to connect here. Okay, then now the database updated like this. Now at first time, the signatures number like this, 104, and uh, this one but uh, like this is a change. And this uh, database normally so here, this database from the clam antivirus. Okay, then now clam scan uh, in did remove for example home directory. Okay, then in my case, I can see this kind of the message scanning file and no infected file. Okay, let's uh, okay, here. In my case, I already download elka.com. So here, so elka.com has this kind of text here. Okay, so here, let's test again. So now root. Okay, so here we can find so Elka test signature found and this one is uh, removed. So here I cannot found. I cannot find because this one is uh, removed by clamp scan. Okay, then the let's uh, check the clamp scan clamp SMTP. So in my case, I already installed this one, clan SMTP. Okay, open the configuration file. Okay, line number six, the found address here. And this one, clan SMTP will open port number 10,026 here. And the uh, clan address socket, you have to check this socket pass. 
at the header normally if the if you receive the email then the client smtp will show this kind of the header messages and the tmp directory and action drop so here you can select the bounce or pass or drop in my case the difference is drop and the username is a clamp ab okay okay then the service let's start uh, Clam SM TPD start and after that uh, service Clam D as well so now this one is a checking or show this kind of messages even if you the see this kind of messages okay this I think this kind of kind of the one just the warning message. Okay, here just uh, let to check the process. So here claim SMTP, and after that let to check the port number. The this one often one thousand twenty six like this. This is so open as well. Okay, then the, let's go to the post fix. Okay, here main. So here, please check the line number. In my case, line number uh, 697 content filter scan. And this one will open this port number to scan the email. And the uh, master as well. So for the master, I already copy like this scan service. So now this one using the SMTP and the outbound port number will be the one, uh, the 10,027 port numbers. And this one will normally authorize the network address only the local host. Okay, then service first fix as well. We start. Okay, for the testing, let's go to share DOC Amabis test. Okay, so here I can find uh, this kind of the testing message supported supplied by the Amabis. So here, let's test. First one, mail. Okay, here, tail. Here, okay, then let's test BS virus testing. Okay, Linux char.com and uh, sample virus virus uh, simple text. So here you can find the, this kind of the messages. So virus, the testing signature. And uh, one more thing. Now let's uh, sample. Uh, spam. Uh, spam g junk. This one also you can find that this kind of the messages. Okay, then. Okay. So here, C. And after that, let's uh, check the spam assassin. Assassin first, this one to the check the exact syntax. Okay, no problem. Okay, then spam. Assassin debug the sample spam G2 junk file. So the if you check the if you test like this, you can see this kind of message by the spam assassin. Uh, especially here. Uh, the spam checker for the spam assassin and the flag level. So here now that this mail got a score 1000. Normally the default score as a spam is a 5, but this one got a 
10,000. So this one normally will be marked as a spam mail. Okay, then the spam C. Okay, then. Sample spam G2 junk. This one by the client. So now you can see the point. This one, the default is a 5, the standard, but this one got a 1000. But uh, here, let's check sample no spam. Sample non-spam. Okay, let's check this one. Okay, this one is a default the score is a five, but this got a just a zero. It means this is not a spam mail. So using this kind of text message, you can check or test the spam or session. Okay, then the let's test the spam. Okay, claim SMTPD stuff. Okay, end of the day, claim SMTPD debugging mode. Okay, here let's test. Mail. Okay, here USI share DOC. Share the C AMA bis and test here. Okay. Okay, let's check mail. Just the test. User will be Linux com and the uh, text message sample virus simple. So now the this one, the clam SMTP shows some messages. So here's the receiver, and uh, okay here let's check. So here I can test the signature found. So virus found like this. So virus detected and discarded the email. Okay then let's go to the this one. So this one received this one, but uh, this is uh, the testing. So now the claimed SMTP the detected this email. Uh, okay. So far I show you how to configure the virus, antivirus and anti-spam using spam assassin Amabis. And uh, for the virus scanning using clam AB and clam SMTP. And uh, see you next video.